Hey guys, Pete with MixCat. I hope you guys are having a great week and your life's going well. I have lots of questions come in during the week and one that's real, real common is what type of Linux distro do I like and what do I use for my web servers? Now there's a lot of different versions out there. My personal favorite is CentOS. CentOS is very easy to use and also really nice with updates. The updates really do take care of most of the security issues and very easy to run. Now please bear in mind I'm talking web servers. If you're looking for a Linux desktop, now my choice might be a little bit different on the desktop side. Now if you're looking for something for your desktop, I'd probably go with Ubuntu because it picks up just about all hardware and it's very easy to set up. Number two is probably SUSE. SUSE is a great operating system also. I believe that's put out by Novell. Now Ubuntu's got a beautiful desktop and it's got the stability of Linux behind the scenes and the GUI looks like a cross between Windows and Mac. Really gorgeous. But for all you serious web guys, it's definitely between Red Hat and CentOS. My choice definitely CentOS. The 64-bit runs just as good as a 32 and addresses all that additional memory. Now match that with Apache Web Server and MySQL. You have a serious web server and very easy to update through SSH with its yum update feature. After a fresh install of CentOS, I'd say it's pretty secure. You're definitely going to want to take your yum updates and shut off any features that you don't typically use. Now if this is going to be a public web server, you definitely want to harden it. Now there's a bunch of different steps you're going to want to take to harden these servers. And all my servers on Mixcat.com, we secure to the max. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you're running a web server is put a firewall on it. It does come with a basic firewall called IP tables, but you're going to want to upgrade that and actually get this free application, well free firewall, it's called CSF. And it's pretty much industry standard and it'll keep the bad guys at bay. The next security tweak you're going to want to make is put in a root kit. The one I recommend is called CHK root kit and you can go to Google and search on that. That's another free one. Now if you're running a bunch of different websites on this web server, you're going to want a decent control panel. Now there's plenty of free control panels out there. I honestly think the best thing out there is a paid one and it's called cPanel. cPanel has so many different features. It's widely supported. cPanel is just the best overall um, control panel you're going to find out there. It really makes it super easy to administrate your web server. From adding emails on the fly to domains or packages, databases, you name it. It just makes it really easy to administrate. In the next couple of videos, I'll actually show you guys some basics on how to get around on cPanel. Since 1994, save fast and more. Our reliable name, mixcat.com.